All right, guys, so the final part of this series is just how to delete data from the Firestore database. So let's go ahead and just pull up our simulator again. So if you remember, this is what we had, okay, and we can update our rating. So what I want to go ahead and do is I actually want to, uh, I want to clean one thing up. It's a really simple little thing. I just hate looking at it. I want to put padding on that second text field there so that I see some padding, okay. And then for this button, the update rating button, okay, I'm going to take that button. I'm going to take its text, oh, I'm going to take its text, okay, I'm going to, I had some information paste that we'll be using. This is going to be how we delete, okay, so um, what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to take that button, I'm going to actually put it in an H stack, okay, and let's take that whole button, okay, paste it inside. Now, next to it, I'm going to create a second button here, okay. And each of these buttons is actually going to have padding. Okay. And inside of this, we need to write uh, action. And its action right now will be nothing, but its context will say delete. Okay. Um, Let's say capital D delete. The other one will say update. Okay, and then I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna clean up the aesthetics just a tiny bit, not much. Okay, just gonna say dot uh, background, and it's gonna be color dot in it. Okay, and I'm gonna use this RGB. I'm gonna say 0 0.92. I just like that. Okay, and I'm going to say that it's dot foreground color of dot black. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to the delete button, and it's going to say background color of um, let's just say it'll be let's say one and zero point nine and zero point nine. So it's going to be a light red. Okay, and foreground color of dot red okay and lastly I'm just going to come here and say uh, dot corner radius 5 okay and I'm gonna do the same thing for here and I'm gonna give the button itself some padding okay underneath the background so it needs to go padding back on foreground corner okay let's run it we should see a second button, and inside that second button, we'll put our delete function, okay? So if I click on one of these, I can click delete. Okay, and right now it doesn't do anything. But if I do update, it does. So I can say Ruby Tuesdays, eh, it's a three. Okay, now Ruby Tuesdays is a three, all right? So the last piece is that action. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create a new state bar. It's going to say, Show action sheet. Okay, it's going to be false. And when you click on delete, it's going to say show action sheet equals true self dot. Okay. And at the bottom here of the button, we're going to say dot action sheet. Okay, and it's going to be attached to show action sheet. Okay. Then contents will be an action sheet okay title message and button so the text will say delete text delete message will say text are you sure you want to delete this item and then the buttons we'll just put first one will be action sheet dot button okay dot and then we'll put default actually we can actually just write do this we can say default and then we'll give it a label and an action okay it'll be delete yes actually we'll just put yes okay and the action will be is what we're gonna write in a second and the second button will be dot dot cancel okay and then just inside this action, we'll just say print. For now, we'll just say deleting. 
Okay, and then we just need to, this needs to say self dot because we're in a closure. Okay, and then we'll run it and let's see what we get. Okay, so pretty much done here to be honest with you. All right, and so right now I can click here. You'll say delete. I'll say, wait a second, are you sure you want to delete? Okay, so we'll go here and we'll find where we had it. Okay, and then I'm going to make this kind of capital Y. Okay, I'm going to go Command Z a little bit just so I can grab a piece that I accidentally got rid of earlier. Okay, but we're going to go all the way back to where we were, right? That's going to say dot cancel. Okay. Make sure we have self dot. Sorry about that. And then the action here is going to be the following. We're going to say Firestore dot Firestore. Okay. Dot collection. Okay. We're going to look at what we had here. So all we really need to do is Firestore. Fire, so collection is ratings, right? Or actually, we just need to go straight to document. So we'll just do collection ratings, and then document. Okay. And what goes inside there is the same thing that we put inside this one right here. It's just going to be self dot id self dot rating id. Okay, and it's going to delete it. And either right now when we go here, it's going to say either that it was successfully removed or let's say rating. So now we can just run it, okay? So all these, all these, you know, actions in Firestore all look really similar. So, you know, I set uh, what I was deleting, okay? Collection ratings, document, is self directing ID, and that's the same thing as this. Saying dot document, you're following the path of this is collection and that's document, okay? Because everything alternates. It goes collection document, collection document. That's how you call a series of paths. Okay, and then we have dot delete, and then we're just saying, let's see what happens when we try to delete it. So let's go ahead and get rid of this random thing we have here. So let's delete that. Okay, document successful, successfully, uh, we should set aside rating successfully removed. But the point is that it worked, right? And then the last thing we'll do, just to make sure uh, that we kind of get rid of all that, is if it was successful, we'll say uh, show action actually show sheet show sheet uh, equals false okay self dot sorry, self dot show sheet equals false run it again and you'll notice that the one we just had is gone now so to finish this app up we'll just clean up all the junk we had in there so Rube Tuesday is still there okay that's fine what was underneath it right there delete let's get rid of that Boom, successfully removed, all right? So let's grab the couple other ones. Let's grab this one, it's pretty ugly. Don't want that one at the bottom. It's gone. This is actually updating in real time on the server, okay? And the way we'll check that, you'll see in a second, I don't want to change Chipotle, okay? All right, delete. The cursor is just barely off of these, okay? So that's why it looks like I'm clicking slightly below what I'm aiming for, okay? So now we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, okay? Let's go over to Firebase again. One, two, three, four, five. It's fully up to date, all right? So that's it, that's how you delete. That was the last piece of the CRUD uh, tutorial. All right, if you have any questions, comment them below. And if this was helpful, I always appreciate it. subscribe. One slight change of plans is I've actually done a video on using Firestore storage, so actually start storing images. And I'm gonna make that the last video in this playlist. So that video already exists, and I'm just gonna put it at the end of this playlist, okay? Um, yeah. But at the end of this, and when you're done watching this, uh, I will have already uploaded the code. That is the final product for what you just finished building. If you went through this whole series with me, or if you just want you know, to look at this full project, because this now you can create, read, update, and delete. You can pick apart the pieces that you need. And yeah, I'm glad uh, that you guys stayed with me, and I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.